All right, Shalom, so it's the brother from GMS North Carolina came back with another video. Before we go any further, we give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, and Karkudash, Devil Honor, Star, Apostle, and Elders of Great Millstone, for teaching us the truth, according to the Bible, rule well, and peace and blessings to the full elect of the nation of Israel today through the Spirit and Power of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Basically, it's going to go into a lesson on how it's time for you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans to repent. This is Sirach 17 and 24. Sirach chapter 17, verse 24. But unto them that repent, you know, when we look up that word repent, it means to turn back sorrowfully. So those that have forsaken the way of wickedness and turn back sorrowfully in the God of the Bible and, and come back and to seek his face, you know. But unto them that repent, he granteth them return. Yes, so Yahweh Shema Shai is not going to despise you. For stopping your wickedness, he is well. That that is something that is well pleasing in the eyes of the heavenly Father. Scriptures say that the angels in heaven rejoice over one sinner that returneth from his wickedness. So when, so the Lord is not going to stop you from repenting. You know, if you do it, come back in sincerity and the truth. Sirach seventeen twenty four. But unto them that repent, he granteth, he granted them return. And comfort those that fell in patience, return unto the Lord. Yes, yeah, so this is a commandment, you know. Return unto Yahweh by Shema Shai. Stop eating your pork, shrimp, crab, lobster. Stop eating all these abominable foods, which is destroying your body, which is only putting more hell on you here in America. You know, uh, stop smoking your stop smoking your weed, smoking your cigarettes. You know, your vape pens, your e cigs. You know, tattoos, going to the barbershop every weekend and getting edge-ups. You know, return, stop all that and return unto the Lord, you know. S seek that which is well-pleasing in the eyes of Yahweh by Shema Shai. Return unto the Lord and forsake thy sins. Yeah, cast your sins behind you. Forsake them, you know. Those sins, the scriptures talk about how the wages of sin are death. Those sins are only going to lead to you dying a gruesome death here in America. You by sinning is pissing the Lord off day by day. Scriptures talk about why they had yet liberty despised it. You know, the same which I'm gonna get this is um real quick. This is this is what happens if you don't want to forsake your sins. This is second Ezra seven and twenty. For there be many that perish in this life. Yes, yeah, so many many of you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are gonna perish, meaning to die. Because they despise the law of the Most High that is set before them. Yes, yeah, so this is the ultimatum. You know, either you're going to repent while the doors of mercy are still open. Or you're going to fall upon this judgment right here. For many shall perish in this life because they despise. Because you hate the law of the Most High that is set before them. Yeah, and who is setting them before them? The prophets. You know, the prophets go out there. You know, starting with our apostles and elders of the great mill. So week in and week out. You know, showing our people where they're going off at. Telling them to repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. For the Most High have given straight commandments to such as came what they should do to live, even as they came, and what they should should observe to avoid punishment. Yes, yeah, so the Lord is telling you. The Lord is making it simple. You got to repent. If you want to avoid punishment, you got to come back and repent and serve the God of the Bible in sincerity and in truth. It's that simple. I'm going to read it again. For the most high have given straight commandments to such as came what they should do to live. If you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans what, what want to live real quick, it's real simple. You got to seek the God of the Bible. The Lord... He's made it easy. He's made it plain. He's broken it down easy. This is Amos 5 and 4. For thus saith the Lord, Yahweh by Shema Shai, unto the house of Israel. See, these aren't our words. These are the Lord speaking to you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you know, in the confusion of faces who are Israelites who can receive this word. Seek ye me, and ye shall live. It's that simple, you know. You got to seek the God of the Bible. How do you seek the God of the Bible? You got to go out there and you got to, you know, first you got to be taught by the men. Starting with our apostles and elders, the great millstone, and the men on down teaching you about the Bible. You got to get into this word. You got to find out what the Lord wants you to do, what he doesn't want you to do. This is Second Ezra 7 and 21 again. And it reads, what they should do to live, even as they came, and what they should 
should observe to avoid punishment. Nevertheless, they were disobedient unto him, but they spake against him and imagined vain things. Yeah, nevertheless, a majority of our people, hey, you didn't want to seek the, the God of the Bible. You wanted to do your own thing. But here it is in Ecclesiastes, uh, the book of Sirach, 17 and 25. This is a commandment. Return unto the Lord and forsake thy sins. Yeah, so this commandment, you know, you got to come back and do what Yahweh by Shema Shai wants you to do, not your own thing. Here it is. We've been in America for over 400 years doing our own thing. And look where it's gotten us. Nowhere, you know. So let's, you know, make a change and see what Yahweh by Shema Shai wants us to do. Or die. <laughs> it's that simple. And it reads... Return to the Lord and forsake thy sins. Make thy prayer before his face and offend less. Yeah, so make your prayer. You know, for, ask for forgiveness, you know, for your for your sins. And offend less. Meaning what? Follow the law of such commandments to the best of your ability. Come back and serve the God of the Bible. This is the book of Second Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14. And it reads... If my people, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves, yeah, you gotta humble yourselves. You know, this is another commandment. Cause what? In order for the Most High to draw nigh unto you, you have to be humble. Here it is. This is why. This is James, chapter four, verse six. James chapter four, verse six. But he giveth more grace. Wherefore he saith, the Most High resisteth, resisteth the proud. Meaning what? The Most High is going to resist you, you know? He's going to draw away from you if you're proud. Someone that is proud thinks that he knows everything. So what? The Most High has no need to counsel that man, you know? But wherefore he saith, the Most High resisteth resist the, the proud, but giveth grace unto the humble. This is why you got to humble yourselves, you know? You, gotta, you need that mercy that uh that grace period to uh to get right in the eyes of the Yahweh by Shema Shai because it's a process it's not just gonna happen overnight you know but you try to the best of your ability you know and, and be sincere second chronicles 7 and 14 it reads if my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray here it is there goes that prayer you gotta pray and ask for forgiveness you know Pray that Yah by Shema Shai, you know, oh, uh, keeps His Holy Spirit upon you, you know, and seek My face. Yeah, what's the face of the Lord? These scriptures. So you gotta seek Yah by Shema Shai. You gotta uh, get into this word. You gotta read, you know. And the scriptures say, uh, uh, get wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom, and with all that getting, get understanding. So you gotta read. You gotta get the understanding of what you're reading. You know, you gotta be taught. And it reads, and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Yes, yeah, so you got to turn from your wicked ways. You got to stop all your wickedness. You got to stop um, selling drugs. You got to stop, you know, committing adultery, which is sleeping the next woman. You got to stop um, getting tattoos, getting edge ups, you know. These are all shaving down your beard. These are all the things that Yahweh by Shema Shai wants you to do. And it reads, then... Only after you do all these all these things which the Lord have commanded us, then will I hear from heaven and forgive their sins and will hear heal that their land. Yeah, only then will Yahweh by Shema Shai hear your prayers. You know, only then will Yahweh by Shema Shai start to bestow His mercy upon you. Hey, but you first gotta do what Yahweh by Shema Shai wants you to do. This is um, we'll get two more scriptures. I'm gonna close it out. This is Deuteronomy. Chapter 10, verse 12, and it reads, It's like it, this, um, yep, Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 12. And now, Israel, what doeth the Lord thy power require of thee? Yeah, what does the Lord thy power require of thee? Of the, the power of you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, Yahweh by Shema Shai. And it reads, But to fear the Lord thy power. Yeah, the Lord wants you to fear Him, because what? The fear is the beginning of wisdom, knowledge, understanding of the Scriptures, Proverbs 1 and 7. 
And also the scriptures tell you in Sirach 2 and 15, they that fear the Lord would not disobey his word. This is why you gotta fear the God of the Bible. You gotta fear his judgments. You gotta fear Yahweh by Shema Shah. He's about to bring holy hell, pure hell, to the shores of America. You know, it's gonna be a day that such has never been seen on the face of the earth. So if you want to avoid these things, hey, you gotta come back and fear your power. But to fear the Lord thy power, to walk in all his ways, which is keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of the Bible, and to love him, which is also keeping the commandments, and to serve the Lord thy power with all thy heart and with all thy soul. Yeah, so what? You got to come back and serve the Lord, you know? You got to put the desires and the things that the Lord wants you to do before anything else. This is, um... Isaiah 55 and 6 and it reads seek ye the Lord while he may be found call ye upon him while he is near yes yeah, so you gotta seek the God of the Bible while he may be found you gotta call upon him while he is near because right now is the time when the Lord has his prophets out there on the highways and byways right now is the time for the for uh, now is the time to repent you know now is the time when the doors of mercy are still open. It's either now or never. The Lord is not going to be gracious unto our people for much longer. The scriptures say, choose you this day whom you're going to serve. You got to choose. You know, are you going to continue to serve yourself? Or are you going to come back and serve the God of the Bible? Isaiah 55 and 6, seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Yes, yeah, so you got to call upon him. You know, you got to pray to Yahweh by Shema and Shai. You got to build up that personal relationship with the God of the Bible. Let the wicked forsake his way. Yeah, the wicked of our people, the wicked of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, you gotta forsake that way that you thought was right and come back and follow the way of the the ways of the scriptures. In the unrighteous man his thoughts, yeah, you have to flush everything you thought was right in the world, you know, uh lusting after another man's woman, you know, um, Smoking weed, doing all this wickedness, you know, selling drugs. Uh, you gotta forsake those thoughts and come back and meditate on these scriptures. In the unrighteous man, his thoughts, and let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him. Yes, yeah, so those that return unto the Lord, those that repent, hey, the Lord granteth thee mercy into our power, for he will abundantly pardon. Yes, yeah, so Yahweh by Shema Shai. It's only so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. He's going to ab abundantly pardon your sins if you return on to him. It's that simple, you know? So now's the time. Now is the uh now are the doors of mercy open, you know? Hey. It's either now or never. Um This is I'm going to close out on this one. This is um, Psalms 32 and 5. I'll, I acknowledge my sin unto thee, and my iniquity have I not hid. I said, I will confess my transgressions unto the Lord, and thou forgavest the iniquity of my sin. Yes, yeah, so you confess your iniquities to Yahweh by Shema and Shai in, in, in all sinceriousness, you know, being sincere. Hey, Yah by Shema is he's a he's a merciful power. He's gonna forgive you, you know. And we all need to do that uh more and more, you know, not just the brothers, you know, because what we repent every day, you know. But you know, the Lord's willing this lesson to edify through the spirit and power, power of Yah by Shema Shai. Before we go any further, we give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai by Shem Rakakwadash. Double honor to our apostles and elders, great most for teaching us the truth according to the Bible rule well. And peace and blessings to the elect of the nation visitor. Thanks, time we say, shall one.